Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new. Today I am sharing two easy and healthy dinner recipes that you can make for your family. These are yummy and so simple to make, so definitely tag me on Instagram if you decide to try these out. And I'm so excited because this video is in collaboration with my friend Jillian here on YouTube. I will have her channel and her video linked in my description box. She is sharing some delicious recipes today as well. She is also grilling, which I am so jealous. I wish that I had a grill so I could try some of these recipes but definitely make sure that you go subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you and if you're here from Jillian's channel welcome make sure you subscribe before you go now let's go ahead and get cooking so the first dinner that I'm sharing with y'all is my salmon broccoli and rice bowl. This is super easy and healthy. I use brown rice for this. You could also use white rice if you wanted to. And then all of the ingredients for the sauce. If you have watched my what's for dinner videos before, you have probably seen me make stir fry and it is the same type of sauce that you would need for stir fry. And I'm starting out by defrosting and thawing out my frozen salmon in the sink. And then I always try to make my life easy by having frozen vegetables, so I am cooking the frozen broccoli in the microwave. And then you're gonna need one lemon because this gives the salmon so much flavor while it is cooking. So I like to layer the lemon slices on the top and the bottom of the salmon, so I'm just cutting these really thin. And then the sauce recipe, you can make this to taste. So I'm gonna tell you what I did, but you can always use more or less of each of these ingredients. So I'm starting out with some low sodium soy sauce, probably about a quarter of a cup. You could always use more if you wanted to. And then some ketchup, I usually do about one tablespoon. Minced ginger is something that I am not super familiar with using, but it has really elevated my dishes. I use about a tablespoon of that. And then some minced garlic, I always use about a tablespoon of that as well. And then sesame oil is something else that I have just started using in my cooking, and I think this works really nicely for Asian dishes. I'm probably using about a tablespoon of that. A little bit of honey, if you like it sweeter, definitely use more. I only use a tiny bit, maybe a couple of teaspoons. And then I usually add some water to it just to kind of make more sauce without adding more calories. So I probably added a little splash of water, and then I use cornstarch to thicken my sauce. You can always use flour or other thickeners but cornstarch works really well and you just want to stir that all the way so that you get all of those cornstarch lumps out. You're gonna wanna heat up some olive oil in your pan and then lay your lemon slices down on the bottom. I made sure to have enough lemon slices for each one of my salmon fillets, so we did three on this night. You can always do more or less depending on how many people you're feeding. And then I place them skin side down with another lemon slice on top. And then I go ahead and put the lid on top of the pan just to go ahead and let it cook. And then I'm gonna get the rice going. Just put a little bit of water in a pan, and then I put the rice in after it has started boiling. I use instant rice to make my life super easy, and you can always use white rice if you prefer that as well. But once it has started to boil, go ahead and put the lid on top, and then turn the heat down so you can let it simmer. This took about 10 minutes. And then once the salmon had started to cook, you can see that it is starting to bubble up. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these guys over. Once they have fully cooked on the top and bottom, then I'm just gonna remove the lemon slices. I don't really eat the lemon slices. I guess you could if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those from the pan. I'm going to add the broccoli in from the bag that I had steamed in the microwave, and then I'm gonna add the sauce, and it does take a little bit of time to thicken, so be patient, put the lid on, and let that sauce get nice and thick. The rice cooks super fast and so does the fish, so this is a very easy recipe and it is super quick. If you are looking for something healthy but you don't have a ton of time to cook, then this is definitely something I would recommend that you try making. I'm just dividing the rice between the two bowls. 
And then I'm gonna put the fish and the broccoli and the sauce on top. I went ahead and kind of chopped up the fish so that it was in more bite-sized pieces. And I always leave the skin on for salmon. I think that it tastes super good. And then any of that sauce that is left in the pan, you just go ahead and pour it over as it got a little bit thicker. And it also thickens a little bit as it cools, but this is what it looked like when it was done. Super delicious and super healthy. All right, the second recipe I'm sharing with you guys are baked potatoes, and I know these are super easy, but you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees, and the potatoes take about an hour to cook. Just make sure that you poke some holes in them before you stick them in, and then you can use whatever you want for a loaded baked potato. You can put whatever toppings that you want. We sometimes do broccoli, we didn't have any, so we went with peas, and then diced ham, cheese, onions, and then a little bit of chives for the top. Jack also likes sour cream if you're into that too, but I wanted to go ahead and cook up the ham. I wanted it to have a little bit of a char on it, so I'm heating up some olive oil in a pan, and then I'm gonna cook the diced ham with some of this onion and garlic as well, so I'm gonna chop up about a quarter of this onion. Oh, what a hopeless case we could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a hopeless place that we're in. But I'm your liability. I know you are my liability. Yeah. Like I said, we love doing broccoli, but we did not have any broccoli on this day, so we opted for peas because you gotta get your greens in somehow. So I'm just cooking these in a little bit of water in the microwave just to take the chill off since they were frozen. And then I'm gonna add the onion, garlic, and the ham to the pan and let it get nice and charred. <laughs> You could also do bacon in the pan if you wanted to and then crumble it up into bacon bits if you're trying to use up some leftover bacon. We have done that before as well. And then I'm going to cut up a few chives. I think this is just a nice little addition to the top of the potatoes. Chose to say goodbye, but I can help my feelings. Right now, I can't deny you never left my mind. Sometimes you can serve a loaded baked potato as a side dish with a meat or something, but we are trying to keep it light and healthy. So we are just having the potatoes with a salad on the side. So I'm cutting up about a head and a half of romaine lettuce, and then we're going to put our dressing of choice on top. Potatoes are super hot when they come out of the oven, so I do like to cut right down the middle and butterfly them a little bit just to kind of open them up. And then I am fixing my potato here. This is what I like to put on it. I always like to stick some butter in it right when it comes out of the oven, and I open it up so that the butter has some time to melt. I'm gonna add the peas to it, but again, you could use broccoli if you wanted to, the ham and some cheese. I'm not a big fan of sour cream, but you could definitely do that if you wanted. Telling me about your secrets I dream and fantasize That I come by your house Telling you about my regrets Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was with the shell I went ahead and added my salad to the plate and then I'm just using a little bit of ranch dressing to dress my salad and that's it for this dinner. It is so simple and easy. You could pair it with a steak or some kind of meat if you wanted to. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to tag me on Instagram if you try any of these recipes and make sure you go check out Jillian's video next. If you are not subscribed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye guys.